This is a veteran's story. Nick and Amy Soppy said it was just a normal day. Picking up their four kids from school and fixing dinner before settling in for a family movie night by the warm fireplace. But their cozy evening quickly went up in flames. Amy smelled a burning plastic odor, prompting them to look out the window. The view outside was so bright, it didn't take long for them to realize their home was on fire. We came right out here to this door and we looked right here and this is where the chimney was and it was already engulfed in flames. It took firefighters five hours and 30,000 gallons of water to put the fire out. If you look up to that uh, hole, that is our daughter and baby's room. That's where it hit the first and the quickest. If my kids would have been in bed this evening, the ceiling in here probably would have collapsed before we even realized the house was on fire. Watching their family home burn down was horrific. Nothing was salvageable. Although they may have lost a home that's been in their family for generations, one thing they do have is each other. Everyone, please welcome Amy and Nick, as well as their four children, Levi, Kinley, Abel, and Titus. Welcome. Well, thanks for coming, Happy everyone. <laughs> you know, we're, we're so sorry about everything that you all have been through. And I have to ask you, Nick, what's been the, the toughest part? The toughest part for me probably is uh, the house has been in the, or the house has been in the family for uh, what is going to be, was going to be four generations. And uh, we had started our family there. And uh, all these four little munchkins had, you know, been raised there. And uh, it was, it's just tough knowing that, uh, Maybe someday one of them's not gonna be able to, to raise their family there. But uh, the fact that we're all out safe, we can start memories in any house. So that's really all that matters. Yeah. What, um, what was that like for you in that moment though? Uh, as soon as we got everyone safe, um, the kids, the dogs, and I had to grab the guinea pigs because they were in there with us too. <laughs> I got them out. My first instinct was just survival. What do the kids need to survive? So. I ran back in the house, I grabbed shoes, a basket of laundry, and I threw it out on the porch. I ran out and got the cars out of the way. I grabbed backpacks, because I knew they had school, so I just grabbed anything that I thought would keep them um, in any type of normal situation, knowing and seeing what was happening. The doctors. 12 years in! The prognosis you prayed for. For the first time in public, I want to see if she can take a few steps. This is so scary. The treatment you needed. You look fabulous. It's the daytime talk show that's been your cure for over a decade. That is literally taking the lives from their community. I can't believe that this is happening. With the issues affecting your health right now. It is not housing, it is not economic inequality, it is a health crisis. I lied to you, and I lied to you. I have a truth that I'm going to reveal. The Doctors, on call for season 12.